Oh, criminal, why do you have one of your arms on your waist? Oh, criminal, why do you have another arm on your waist? You want to know why? Because I'm being serious. This is what dumbasses do. This is what dumb teachers do. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, you know how when someone's mad at you, they go... As if this is gonna... Oh my god, I'm scared now! They're like this, and they're like, You know what? You know what? It might as well be like a fucking stupid wrestler or something. Listen, you're not scaring me. You're, this is stupid, but I'm just trying to show you that I'm being serious, okay? This video is about the way you view yourself. Oops. Oh, let me give you a... Sh just sit there, relax. This is the way I view this. This motherfucker as a sex doll okay so let me put him in the position where there you go you see this is how i view this person this is a cum bucket a cum dumpster a cum rag whatever you want to call it whatever the meaning sexual thing you want to call it so they could get turned on and their nipples hard and shit but yeah um the way you view yourself and this really makes me angry it makes me very angry because i know all about this I don't know what it is. I think it was yesterday where this popped into my head because I was looking at something where, oh, I was watching a therapy session on YouTube of, with this kid and it made me feel terrible. Healthy Gamer GG. He was interviewed, well, giving therapy to this one kid, if you want to call it therapy. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, he doesn't even like to call it therapy. But he was, he was talking to some kid. And I felt so bad for him. By hearing him speak, I'm like, nerd. I don't know, you're like, hey, what you got against nerds? Nothing, because I'm a fucking nerd. But I'm a confident nerd. That's the, that's the difference. I'm, a, I'm the biggest nerd ever. But I'm confident. Because I should be. The way you view yourself is extremely important. And it really makes me sad. Because, okay... And let me just go into the scientific stuff first, because this is how it works. If I have a pimple on my face, and I ask someone, Hey, <laughs> this fucking pimple on my face is so ugly, right? They're like, first of all, you fucking moron. I didn't even notice it. The fact that you pointed it out, now I know you have a pimple. Thank you for showing me your insecurity about your little fucking, the way you're viewing yourself. And it's like, that's true. Everything you see that's happening to you is nothing close to what someone else sees. A pimple that you see looks like a fucking gigantic meteorite on your face. What they see, they don't even notice it. Or they're just like, oh, it's just a little small pimple. It ain't shit. The way we view ourselves is kind of weird. It's like a very, and it's, a, it's always in a bad way. I don't know why. It's almost like if I hear, if I rewatch this video and I listen to my voice, I probably won't like how it sounds, even though I'm alright with it now because I've heard it enough. But I'm just saying, you don't usually like your voice. There's just things you hear about yourself. I feel like that's just, you don't like yourself at all. That's what I'm thinking about there. You know what I mean? When things like that happen. Another thing about the way you view yourself. Well, there's one thing about the way I view myself that's 100% accurate. When I look at my two-inch penis and I go, that shit is really small. And then someone else looks at it and goes, criminal, that's a pretty pretty small. That's where I don't, that's at 100% accurate. There are some things you could be accurate about the way you view yourself. That's one of them for me. But, uh, yeah, the, the way you view yourself, that, that shit really hurts me a lot. Because I know most of people, and I'm talking about 90% of people, the way they view themselves is very bad in many ways. They're the worst critics. And there's nothing wrong with being a critic of yourself because that's the way you improve on stuff. Now, if you're being a critic on yourself, let's say you make music. Okay? Let me give an example of that. Okay, let me make, let me make a random song right now, okay? Let me give you an example. Let's say I go like this. that at all i don't like it at all i gotta change it up it's really fucking bad i don't like it and then i go wait see 
and I go, oh my God, me putting the extra finger there made it sound better. Oh my God. Uh, and don't make fun of me, okay? I would never, that's not a song. That was just an example, okay? Uh, yeah, so it's, you see the difference? Doing that is great if you're playing competitive games and you're telling yourself, man, I fucking suck. I need to improve. Oh, I just messed up in that way. Why don't I lay down when the guy comes out in Call of Duty Warzone? Why don't I lay down when he comes to the door and I know I don't have any fucking armor on me? These are the type of things I think in my head all the time. And then later on, I get better at games like in Overwatch, for example. I'm amazingly good because I changed many things about the way I play. I'm nowhere near what I want to be, but I will whip your ass. What you said? You want to challenge me to 1v1? Anytime, you piece of junk. But you know what I mean, those things are positive. Playing basketball, all of these things that involve any skill or creativity, if you think you could do a little bit better than you're doing, that's great. But the part about viewing yourself that I hate is when you think you're a piece of shit. You see yourself as you're ugly, nothing's good enough, you're looking at yourself in the mirror a hundred million fucking times. You're looking at social media, maybe all that pops up on your fucking shit are girls that you find attractive, either for the ladies and for the guys. Maybe you find a lot of guys that are like, hey man, I'm successful, look at all these chicks I have, and you feel like crap. Stop looking at that shit because it makes you feel worse about yourself, okay? What you need to do is get into meditation, okay? Get into positive affirmations. Look it up, affirmations. I am great, I am amazing. These are the things you're gonna have to start writing down on a piece of paper. Uh, these are the things that are actually true about yourself, but you don't think they're true because the way you view yourself, and that really makes me sad. I used to view myself as, you don't even want to know. It's so bad, it makes me sick to my stomach, the thought. I always called myself ugly for some fucking reason. I was always not confident. I always think I suck. And I'm extremely shy. And I'm going to make a, you know what, that's a, let me, let me write that note down. Hold on. I need to make a video on that. Because I write notes down. You see, these are things that I improve on. Okay, I didn't spell shy, okay. I, I didn't, okay, I spelled shy right, okay. I, I spelled the S-H-T for some reason. Uh, that's talk. I don't want to talk about shit. But, um, yeah, these are the things that I noticed about myself. The shyness thing hasn't gone away, though. I got better at it, but goddamn, that shit is the worst thing I've ever experienced. But I'm not going to share that right now. That's for another video that's important. Probably going to make it right after this about shyness or something, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, the way you view yourself, it just makes me really, really sad that you think all these bad things about yourself. And you living in fear and reality. and no, You're not lazy at all. It's just fear. I know you think that, oh, I feel so... Uh, uh. A lot of people will tell you that you're lazy for not doing certain things, but it's because the way you view yourself destroys the way you feel inside. You know you want to go outside, have a good time, I don't know, do whatever you want, whether it's get a job, I don't know what you want to do. But it stops you because the way you feel about yourself and the way you look at yourself. All you got to do to get confidence, to be honest, the number one confident. I don't know, as time went on in my life, I got more confident. You know, as I started to go out with, I think as I started to go out with, you know, girls and, and bullshit like that, just going out with people in general, I started to notice like, wait a minute, these people find me very attractive. They like my personality. I make them laugh. And, you know, I come on their face and they go, oh my God, I want to swallow your cum. And so I was like, wait a minute, they want to swallow my cum and they like me, they find me attractive, what the hell, why am I looking at myself like I'm so horrible and shit like that when these people enjoy my time, they, they love me, they're into me and shit like that. And then I just, the confidence started building, building, once I started meditating, oh my god, I'm a god, I am a fucking god, that's, that's what I am. Everyone is a god. Just remember that. Don't ever think that you're not. If You, you know when they talk about God, they're talking about you because you're the person that does everything. Remember that. So when you win a billion dollars, don't go, thank you, God, for the billion. No, it was you that went out, bought the stupid ticket, scratched it off, and then you won. Um, and I know a lot of you are going to say, but I, I can't, I haven't got girls to feel that way. Well, go get them. They're out there. There's always someone for you. There's always someone that's going to find you attractive. You're just not trying. Try on their internet. If you don't, don't, don't listen to me with the whole go outside of me. 
the more you are outside though obviously you're gonna meet more people but what I'm saying you could meet people online if you want you're, you're gonna meet someone that's gonna love you and you're gonna get confident about it you're like oh I'm not I'm not as ugly as I thought I was hey 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 you never were ugly to begin with okay so that's all I gotta say the way you view yourself is very important and I know you're saying but 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 there's COVID-19 outside. The virus is... Shut the fuck up. Didn't I just say get on the... If you're afraid to go outside, uh, you know, maybe you could meet someone with the virus and you got the virus and then you could fuck and then it'll create a vaccine or something. But anyways, no. Uh, yeah, you could go online right now. This is the perfect time. Everybody's home. Your chances of going out with someone is really high, nerdy boy. You want to be a nerdy boy like me, confident? Listen to what I say. Also, listen to what I say if you want to be smart for the rest of your life and have a gigantic 500 IQ by subscribing to me, please. Subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Join my Twitter. All the stuff is down in the description area so you could follow all that. But please subscribe to me. Thank you. I appreciate you for watching this video. I love you now. Uh, and you know what? I view you amazingly and I want you to view yourself amazingly as well. Thank you. Goodbye.